Hey, Bill. Joe. How you doing? Sorry to hear about your dad, man. Yeah, thanks. We had some time, you know? I mean, he'd been sick for a long time. So I won't say I was totally ready for it, but the time to get ready helped. We had all of his affairs in order, and he was where he wanted to be, and he was comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's never easy, but all things considered, it seems like you're doing okay. Well, you would know. You've been there. Your dad, Lou, passed several years back, didn't he? Yeah, three years come November. So was it the same for you? I mean, did things go okay? I, I don't mean okay, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it, it was kind of like you and your dad. I mean, you know, he'd been sick for a long while, but uh, things didn't go as uh, smoothly for me. Smoothly? What do you mean? Well... I'm not saying it was easy. It's not easy for anyone. It's just that, uh, you know, when he got really sick, well, I had to deal with a few extra issues. I don't understand. Well, you know, when he was in the hospital, he got to the point where he couldn't make any decisions for himself. So, you know, all the decisions sort of got left up to me. Yeah, decisions. You mean funeral arrangements and stuff? No, no. Um, no, all my decisions had to come before the funeral. Oh. So you had to make some calls on your dad's treatment then? Hmm. Yeah. What about your brother and sister? They were there, right? They had to have been involved. <laughs> oh, they were there all right, but they were basket cases. Uh, they couldn't deal with anything. They let me know pretty early that... Everything that was left up to me, you know, all the decisions were mine, oldest and all. Wow. So uh, what kind of decisions did you have to make? Well, you know, like I said, you know, when he was in the hospital, he was so weak and frail. It, wasn't, it was like he wasn't even himself, you know. You remember my dad when we were kids. I mean, he was fast and strong as an ox. I remember him being a good ball player. Yeah, he loved baseball. Yeah, he used to take us to Parker Field all the time to watch games. I remember this one time we were we were sitting up in the box seats and this foul ball comes flying our way and Dad just dove down the concrete steps, messed up his ankle, skinned his knee, but he caught that ball just for me. Yeah, I haven't thought about that story in a long time. So uh, what happened then? In the hospital, I mean. Well, you know, he he couldn't make any decisions for himself. And, you know, so the doctors came to me. And, you know, it was easy at first. You know, the, they just wanted to try some treatments. And they just needed my okay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the uh, <coughs> the uh, treatments didn't, didn't help. And Dad just kept getting worse. And pretty soon it was just the machinery keeping him alive, so... Uh, the uh, the doctors asked me to uh, to make one more call. The uh, the final call, if you know what I mean. You you had to decide. What did you do? I, I made the call. Just like that. It wasn't a quick decision. You know, I, I prayed about it. I, I've never prayed so hard about anything. I, I asked for wisdom. I, I asked for a sign. I asked that I wouldn't have to make the decision. But you made the decision. The doctor said they needed an answer, so I gave them one. Well, don't you think you got it right? You made the right call. I think I made the right call. Then you did the best you could, you know. You did what you had to do. Yeah. Then what? There's something else. What is it? You know, that's... It, it's God's call. You know, nobody should have to make that call for somebody else, least of all me. I, I'm just some poor schlub. I, I understand that, but you did what you had to do. You got it right. What if I didn't get it right?
What if I didn't get it right? Look, Joe. The doctors gave you their best advice. Your family trusted you to make these decisions. I imagine your dad trusted you to make these decisions, whether he could tell you or not. And I believe God gave you the courage to make the call. Yeah. I think you're right. I, I hope you're right. But, you know, I don't know that you're right. You make this kind of call, you want to be sure. You want to be 100% sure that you got it right. Well, no one knows 100% of the time. I know. I don't expect to be right 100% of the time. It's just that I want to be sure that I was 100% right this time. 